Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to a new type of project. If you have this type of envelope, I want you to go ahead and grab a bunch of them. I have, I don't know, a slew, uh, because we're going to make a journal today that requires no sewing and has lots of pages. So it's easy. Go ahead and grab them. Um, it's easier if you have this kind, uh, if you have the flap on it, but it's not, if you don't have the flap on them, if, if you're, if you open them this way and there is no flap, those are going to be harder to use. So I'm not even going to try to use them. I'm setting those aside. Um, I've set that one aside because I want to talk about it in a minute. So these all have those flaps on them. So we're going to set these all right here. And we're going to talk about those in a minute because I want to talk about this one. Because this one has a very raggedy edge, but it has some. So I'm going to take a piece here of, uh, and I'm going to, you know what, I am going to use Fabri-Tac for this. I am going to put Fabri-Tac all over here and I'm going to make an edge for it. And I'll show you what we're going to do with these in a minute. This is just kind of prepping it. And my it's gotten very chilly here. My Fabri-Tac does not want to come on, spit out. It's very, very gooey. And I think I have a clog. There we go. That should get rid of the clog. Now we're cooking. Okay, so I've got that piece. And I have this little piece here, and I have this little piece here, and I'm going to put Fabri-Tac all over it, and then I'm going to take this, just this piece, this is just a scrap piece of white, and we'll put it on there. All right. And we're just going to leave that like that. And let that sit. So if you have one that's a little messy like that, that's okay. So let's take a look at these guys. And how? what are we going to do and how are we going to organize these? Well, we have these flaps. So what we're going to do is just put these all together like this. And we're going to line all of our flaps up. This one's a little bit wonky, but there's enough of it there that I'm not going to worry about it. And then I'm going to put all of this here. And not all of them are exactly the same size, and that's okay with me. They're mostly the same size. And as for size, these are roughly 6 inches by 9 inches. So this is a slightly larger journal than we are used to. But we're going to put everything together like this. I'm just tucking them in and lifting the flaps so that I'm going to have a whole stack of them like this. Okay, that one's a little wonky. So, you know what, I'm going to put you, well, we'll figure you out. Okay, because then what we're going to do is glue them all down like this. So it won't really matter, that wonkiness won't matter on that. And then we have a journal all made out of envelopes with these beautiful windows and whatnot. Now you're probably already going, but I see a problem. How are you gonna get things in and out of here? Cause that, there isn't a whole lot of room there. And you're absolutely right. There isn't a lot of room there, which means we need to do something to prep these a little bit further. Let me come back to this piece and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my extra piece off now. Now that I've got that secured a little bit more. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting in here. So I had a wonderful vacation. I am, but like every vacation, it's good to be home and good to be in the craft room again. There. Okay, I'm going to set these aside. Maybe we'll use them for something, maybe we won't. But you can see what I've already done on this one is I've cut, <clears throat> excuse me, cut down the edge. So let me take another one. 
And all I'm going to do is put a little cut here and a matching cut here. And you can measure them if you'd like. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And then I'm folding down. Okay, this one has a very specific place where it likes to fold. So we'll just go with that fold. I'm just folding that down. And now I can take my Fabri-Tac and I can put it in here. I'm just going to come right along here and do that and then fold that down and now I have a nice opening. So when I stick it in with my other pieces again, well actually let's put it in the middle because the, the, the last one is obviously going to have a little bit of difference to it. So now I have enough room to stick something in it. See? Easy peasy. So I'm going to take a minute here. I've already done this one. Now I've done that one. And I'm going to just take a minute here and I'm going to make my cuts. And you can cut down as far as you are comfortable going. I'm generally cutting to the other side of, if there's glue on it like this one, I'm cutting to the other side of that glue so that I have enough room. Now, yes, that means my um, that's going to show a little bit, but that's okay because I'll show you why in a minute. When, when we, yeah, I'm going to have to work with my glue. I'm going to turn my camera off and work with this glue for a minute and try to get it so it's coming out better. But I think it just it's got a clog in it. I got to get a pin out. Okay. And I'm just going to glue that down. So see, now when I have it in here, I actually want to go this way. You might say, oh, but I can see the page behind it. Remember, we're going to be putting something in here so that you're not going to be seeing the page behind it. All right, I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to fix my glue and I'm going to go ahead and cut down the rest of these and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and all of my envelopes have been pushed down. Now, and you notice I did not necessarily, sometimes I, I went with the squared edges and sometimes I came down at an angle um, just to give it a little bit of variety, you know, so it's not the same thing all the time. And now I'm going to kind of organize them how I want them because obviously some, and if you notice, these are all junk mail envelopes. I bought nothing. For these. None of these are things that I purchased anywhere. You next. You're, you're pretty robust so I may want to put you back here. I'm going to stick you here I think because I may end up cutting that down and I'm going to put this one because it's very robust on the front. Okay. Now do I want, maybe I want you on the back. I think I do because I'm going to end up sealing you. Because this one, I, I had to cut it down. I There's no lip. I like, oops, that one didn't get, okay, let me just real quick. I missed one. Um, I like folding them down rather than cutting them off because it gives a little bit of robustness now to the, the edge of the pocket so that as you're sliding things in and out that's the part that's going to get the most use and be the most worn is this edge right here so you it's nice to have that extra double thickness there okay so this one I may just seal all right let's just put that like that Okay, and we have a journal. So now we have to put our pieces together. So let's go ahead and start by gluing them together. And 
This is a no sew envelope journal that uses these large envelopes that you get in the mail. And if you're careful with how you open them, although you can see that I've not been real careful necessarily, you know, I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm going to tuck one right into the other. And now I'm going to bring the next one in. And I'm going to tuck it right in there. Now this one's a little bit shorter, so I'm going to put my glue on the flap rather than on, and I'm using Fabri-Tac for all of this because I want to make sure it stays. Could you use a glue stick? Absolutely. Um, I just don't trust the glue stick that I use enough to use a glue stick. You could probably use the tape as well. Again, I'm pushing that nice and tight up in there. And obviously I didn't get these straight all the time, but that's okay. Because you're going to see what else we're going to do with these. Okay. I'm going to line everything up. And oh, I just stuck my finger in the glue because, you know, that's what we do. It has gotten very chilly here in the Finger Lakes. Yesterday, I went out and did some things in the morning and the temperature finally got up to 47. Oh my glory, it was so cold. Especially after having just come back from vacationing in for 10 days in Florida. Now see that little piece is gonna drive me crazy, so I'm gonna pull it off. And while I certainly would not want Florida weather all the time, I do understand it's or allure when it's 47 here and it's 80 and 75 down there. Definitely understand the allure. Okay, this is, I think I need to, I, I don't, I was going to say, I think I need to refill this, but I still have half a bottle. It's just taking its own sweet time coming out. Okay, and I'm nestling that right up, right up next to it, giving it a good press. Now, have I made one of these before? No, this is my first. So you guys are an experiment, actually. So we'll see how this goes and how it works. See, see why I'm not worried about because it, it makes your end up eventually this will get covered. So yeah, I don't have a full flap on this one, but I'm not too worried about it. I think it's going to be fine. Okay, butt that right up against it. Because now, when I put the next piece on, you're not even going to tell. See, it's going to cover it all co completely. So it gets sandwiched in. So I'm not too worried about that. And this is a great way to use up all of these envelopes that you get big things in. I get a lot of statements and whatnot. And this allows me to use up, I got a glob, a glue glob there. I want to stick it in there. Okay. You know, some of it's just junk mail, wanting to give me a discover card. Okay, now this is the one that's much stronger because I put the cardstock on it in order to make sure because it was so ripped up. So I used that cardstock to strengthen the flap a little bit and give me some flap to use. I have now these, there's not enough flap there to use. Could I put a piece of cardstock on there and hinge it? Absolutely. But I think these are better purposed elsewise 
in other journals. So I'm not going to bother with them. Besides which, I have enough. I have enough here. I, I don't remember how many I have. I'll count them in a minute. As soon as I can get this glue to come out. You would think I'm almost out of glue, but I'm not, I really I have over a quarter in here, but I think I'm going to have to definitely fill it back up again just to make it come out easier. Oh my glory, it's killing my fingers. Okay, that one's a little bit longer. That's all right, cuz we're going to put this guy in next. And this is the one that I think I'm going to before I do it I'm going to take and just open the top a little bit. And then I'm going to, on this side, which is the side that will be inside, I'm going to give it a notch. So that this particular piece, because I'm going to end up sealing it. I'm going to, in fact, I'm just, you now I'm going to flap it first and then I'm going to seal it. So let's flap this. Okay, I got to pause. I got to do something about this glue. Okay, I'm back. I filled it back up again, although really it shouldn't have required it. It was half full already but I have really reamed out the opening and filled it and it should be a little bit easier to use now. I like the smaller bottle because it fits my hand, but I might need to buy, a, it might be time to buy a new smaller bottle. Um, the big one is just so big and klutzy. Okay, so let's Go back here, we're buttoning this up against it, folding it over, and then I'm going to, I got some strings there, I'm going to go ahead and close this one up. I'm still having to use two hands to be able to squeeze this out, so yeah, I think it's time for a new bottle. All right. Um, I'm going to just keep working on this and I, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you're doing this along with me and you have a place where you can post pictures or you can post pictures on my Facebook page and let me see how you're doing. Let's see how yours comes out. Okay. I'm going to close that up, set that aside. And let's see what we've got. Like I said, this is an experiment. All right. So I have page one and page two, page three, page four, page five, page six, page seven, page eight, page nine. So this is a nine page journal. It's a little bit, it's not too chunky, but now we got to do something. Now we got to decorate it. And, um, I am starting to get into my Christmas mode. So I have Christmas papers out. And I'm thinking we need to do something with the Christmas papers. So let's take a look at, um, well, okay. So in this particular Christmas pack, there were these, uh, what are these, three? How big are these? Four by six. There are four by six postcard size, and then there are six by six big cards. And I think the six by six big cards will almost fit in here as is. Not almost, they do. They fit right in there. That's nice. Okay, so this one says Noel, but I don't think... Okay, they don't, they, yeah, that's all right. 
All right, so they I don't like them as a face card page, but I do. Let's see. How about this one? This one says no peeking. If we slide that one in there, no peeking. I like that. So I could, now I've got a couple of options. I could um, leave that as a journal card, or I could tape it down and use it as a, you know, just a, a way of, I flipped it too many pages. I could just use that as a decoration. I don't know quite what I want to do with that, so I'm going to leave that as it is. What I do want to do is cover these pages. So I have, I have all of these really cool pages. Let me see what I'm, let me use this one. I like this one. Okay, the rest of you guys, come on. Out of my way for a minute. Get you out of the way. I'm going to push you guys up there and put you guys up there. And we're just, I'm only going to do one of these pages because I'm not going to decorate the whole thing on camera. Um, plus, I don't have all my Christmas stuff out yet. I only have some of my Christmas stuff out. So I could cover the whole thing or I could just cover part of it. And I think what I want to do is find a page that I mostly want to cover all of it. Okay, Edward Jones, sorry, we're going to cover most of you. Okay, because I don't need the Edward Jones stuff showing out there. So in order to do this, I'm going to flip it over so I can make my marks and nobody will see. And you can see that this paper's been around a little bit. It's getting, starting to get a little yellowed. Um, and I want to go right here. I want to go right here. So I'm going to grab my cutter. And I'm going to come... I can't see my mark now because it's way down here. Make sure I'm level. I'm going to make my mark. Did I just do that wrong? No, I did it right. Okay, I don't want to make my mark. No, I made my mark. I want to cut my mark. There we go. Now I have an extra piece left over for a journal card in some other journal because these are all going to be big journal cards. Okay, now is that too much? Is that just right? Now, by the way, I did want to address this. You notice that when you put it over, they're more or less the same size, uh, but they're not exact. And that's okay. I mean, I, that doesn't bother me. What I am probably going to do is put lace on it and stuff anyway, so it doesn't, I'm fine with that. Uh, it does not bother me at all. Now, could you cover these before you put them in? Sure. If you can think that far ahead and you know exactly how you want to decorate it and you know what you're going to do all ahead of time, you go right ahead and um, decorate them up first. I am not nearly, I can't, I just can't do that. I don't know. I'm so jealous of those of you who can, who can see the journal ahead of time in your head and you know what you're going to do. I don't know what I'm doing from day to day. I can't even get glue to work right today. So, you know, I'm not really going to be doing that. Okay, I'm going to spread that out a little bit so it's not quite so gloppy, which makes a mess of my top, I know. There. All right. So I got glue all over that now, and I'm going to go ahead and cover up that whole piece. Now, you don't have to use cardstock on this if you have uh, digitals. And you're done, you've done them on computer paper, that would work just as well. In fact, that probably would be a little bit better in many ways because it wouldn't add so much bulk to your paper. I don't have any Christmas digital wallpaper, and I have so many paper packs that I'm going to go ahead and add the bulk in. 
So I have that there. Now I do have this page of stripes. And I think if I put, how many stripes can I, do I need here? I think if I cut this right at this stripe, because this is meant to be used like washi tape. Let me come back down just a little bit there. And I want to cut, where do I want to cut this? Let me make a little mark. Grab my pencil again. Okay, I want to cut that. I want to cut it just a little bit shy so that I can slide it in. So I'm going to cut it right there. Another snippet to be used later. And then I can slide this right in there. And it doesn't show up, it, well, it does show up a little bit there. Hmm. So I think I don't want it quite so much. So, okay. We're going to take off the candy stripe. This is where having a guillotine would work a little bit easier. It's easier to line up. But I don't have a guillotine that is enough to take this whole thing. So now I have a nice piece that I can use of something else. Okay, and I can still put that in there. And it shows a little bit more white, but that's probably okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and glue this in. Come on. I did, in fact, take the top completely off of this glue and reamed out the inside like you would not believe and it's still giving me grief so I think it's time to buy another little bottle so that I can have it for my little bottle. I think this little bottle has pretty much done everything it's going to do and I want to put that stripe this way slide it in trying not to get glue everywhere And just get glue in a few spots there that'll get covered up so I'm not too worried about that little bit of glue stuff over there there now I might choose to put a little washi in here because as you can see it's it comes up a little bit a little bit of reinforcing with a little bit of glue is all that's required there all right, so go ahead and grab all of your large. Now, will this work with smaller envelopes? Absolutely. The, the size of the envelope makes, really what you need is the flap. You need the flap. Now on the back here, I have a top loading envelope. Cause I didn't, I really didn't want to lose that nice, great big piece there. So I'm going to put a bigger journal card in there that will, with a tab on it, so that that'll come out nicely. And on the back, we need, obviously, we need something on that back. So let's go ahead and find, oh, I've got this really pretty. Oh, isn't that nice? So we'll stick that on the back, maybe. I don't know. I got to work on this. I got to think about what I want to do with this. But there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll decorate it up. And you got a journal. All right, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button to let YouTube know that you like them, and leave a comment. Uh, is this something you think you'll make? Do you think that you, have you made it? Have you done something slightly different with it? Um, could I have sewn these together? Sure. I didn't want to. I wanted to make them all together as one big journal. 
I will show you this journal as we go along um, because I'm sure I will be using it to show a couple of other techniques as well. All right. In the meantime, I hope you're having a wonderful fall day. And this is Cindy signing off. <laughs>